Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring. Always so lovely to join you. Today we are being very specific and we're looking at circles. Now what about circles? We're looking at some of the lines, the names of the important lines when it comes to circles. And it's, it's always important to understand what types of lines you get, especially now because later on, all of these types of lines become quite important when you try and understand the angles that are associated with circle geometry. Now we start off by reading the question. T is the center of the circle. Now why is it always important to know that T is the center of the circle? Importantly, if no one tells you that T is the center of the circle, even though it looks like the center, you cannot assume that is the center of the circle. So it's always very important that you read the question. If they do not mention that, you cannot assume that. Name the parts of the circle that are listed. Now let's look at the questions that they've asked. PQ is called what? So we see that PQ is this line segment over there. We see that it passes through T. T is our center of the circle. And we see that one side ends on one side of the circle and the other side ends on the other side of the circle. So you're essentially splitting the circle in half. And that type of line is called a diameter. Brilliant. So diameter is a line that passes directly through the center of the circle from one side of the circle to the other. Moving on to the next one, we see TM. So TM is this line segment over there. And here we notice that T, it's starting at the center and going to the outside of the circle. And it's not going the whole way, it's only going half the way. So it's half the distance of a diameter. And we know a line like this is called a radius. Brilliant. The final one is a trickier one because they're not as common. But we've got the final line here being PS. And we can see that PS is a line that's going from one side of the circle to another. But the important thing is it's not passing through the center. It's away from the center. And a line like this is called a chord. If this line was extended on either side, it would be called a second. But because it is ending at the circumference, it means that this line is called a chord. Right, guys, hopefully that helps you with some of the names associated with circles. They always come up in your test, so make sure you remember these. They're easy marks if you know them. Before I go, I'd like to say a very special thank you to our sponsor for making these videos possible. Find out more about them in the description below. If you're looking for more videos, make your way over to our website. If you can't find the answer to the question, remember you can send it to us, and we will reply with a personalized video. Until the next time, guys, stay